Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on exactly where we'd left off in the last lesson, where we'd created a GUI group and we was drawing the background texture for the health. So now we need to draw the background texture for the other stats. Now I've explained how this line of code works and what we're going to be doing is using the same line of code we're just going to be modifying the variables here so I'll not, probably not go through it in as much depth but um, I think you um, get the idea of how this works now so first thing let's start with the hydration I'll leave a space a line space for the uh, hunger but we'll start with the hydration next because I think that's the next easiest and we want the GUI draw texture open brackets new and of type rect so we'll open brackets again so we'll have our health here our hunger around here and our hydration we want in the center of the screen so we'll say screen dot width and we want half the screen width so divide by 2 and we'll use the minus sign now at this point it's going to start drawing the GUI for the hydration here and then off to the right it will start drawing in the center of the screen and um, we don't want that we want the middle of the texture to be at the center of the screen so we need to move it back by half the texture size so we'll say minus and we'll open brackets and we'll say texture size underscore texture size dot x and we want the divide by two and we'll close brackets there minus 2.5 f and that's our little offset that I explained in the last video comma our little offset again of 2.5 F comma and it's going to be the same as this line here so we can actually just copy from texture size X and we'll paste that in and we'll change this comment to hydration so we're drawing at half the screen width plus moving it back by half the texture size on the x-axis minus our little offset our little offset down and we're drawing the texture size plus five and plus five again so this is where we actually draw the texture itself and again we're drawing the background texture so now we have our health and hydration in place so let's next draw the line that will draw the background texture for the hunger so I'll come in between the health and hydration and I'll say GUI dot, dot draw texture will open brackets new rect and we'll open brackets again and this time we want the screen dot width and we want to divide by four so we're using a quarter divide by four and we'll say at this point minus and this time we want the texture size so texture size and it's the X one and this time it's going to be divided by four and we'll close brackets there we'll comma 2.5 f again and comma and again we can copy this part of the line both texture sizes and background texture and we'll paste that in so draw a background texture for the hunger and we'll save that there so let's test this out up to now so we'll hit play uh, we may just have to wait for the script to recompile 
and we'll hit Q and there you can see we now have a background texture for the health, hunger and hydration. And I'll stop that there. And let's come to the next line here. So for this one we'll say GUI dot and again draw texture open brackets of new rect will open brackets again so we'll draw the stamina and this time we'll open brackets a second time here and we'll say screen dot width we'll close brackets and it's going to be minus open brackets a quarter of the screen the screen dot width divide by four close brackets minus open brackets again and we want the underscore texture size dot x divide by and I'm going to use value of 1.33 f we'll close brackets there and minus 5 and we'll comma so we're using quite a complex piece of equation to actually draw the stamina. The stamina will be drawn here, halfway between the middle and the far right of the screen. And this is what I'm using. We may be able to come back and tidy this up later. But I've just quickly experimented and this gives me the texture in the approximate size. So. We may come back and alter this, but for now we'll leave it at that. And we'll try again 2.5F as our little offset, comma. And of course we can just copy this part of the line. Both texture sizes and background texture. We'll paste that in. And we'll save that there and we'll hit play again and we'll see how that looks again it may take a moment to recompile so there we go hopefully we won't be able to see that if I get rid of the stats there we go so there's our four textures for the player stats now we still have the battery to do and as you can see we still have the battery GUI left over from the flashlight script so we'll pick that up in part three so I hope to see you then I hope you enjoyed this lesson and until next time as always bye for now